Yo, what is up guys? So we are here to showcase off the new zombies over here. Now this is a new structure deck called the Undead World, but I just wanted to mention first off, there is one card we don't know of yet, which is the Red Eyes Undead Necro Dragon. We just know that it's a level 7, but um, it, and it's a Dark Synchro monster. But we also have the new boss monsters for, I would say, just kind of generic zombies at this point. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out some gameplay and uh, let's we'll go ahead and talk about this card but uh, anyways let's get started so anyways uh this whole archetype i would say is based off of zombie world because well i mean you base the whole deck off of basically one card which you guys will see here very soon and the card is actually very dirty now uh the card that we're going to be taking a look at is the new boss boss i'm just going to go ahead and go over its effect most of the other cards are pretty small as far as their effects but uh anyways so this is the new Spirit King, uh, his name is Drokshul, the Spirit King. But anyways, he's absolutely insane. I would say kind of broken. You guys let me know if you feel like he's broken or not. I mean, the effect is insane. Anyways, so his effect is when a zombie monster's effect is activated, except uh, of the effect of Drokshul, the Spirit King, as a quick effect, you get to apply one of these effects. Also, you cannot apply the effect of the, I'm just going to call him Spirit King, just so it's shorter. So, you cannot activate the effect of Spirit King for the rest of this turn. So, the effect is either you get to negate the effect, banish one monster from the field or graveyards. But, that's his effect, which is pretty good. He is level 8, so you'd argue maybe he's hard to summon, but no, 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 no. It's very easy to summon him. So, his effect is, during the standby phase, if a face-up card is in a field zone, you can special summon this card from your graveyard and defense position. You can only use this effect of him once per turn. So, basically, you get him out for almost free um, every single standby phase. As long as there's a face-up card in a field zone, which, I mean, is it that hard? Um, and on top of that, we'll get into uh, more of the effects in just a second here, but just wanted to mention that um, he's really easy to summon, uh, basically, over here. This is uh, versus... Uh, the other one had Sky Strike or something, so uh, whatever. Anyways, this is like the uh, Thunder Dragons over here. And uh, anyways, uh, very simple concept. Uh, I mean, heck, you could even just run Armageddon Knight and just throw him into the graveyard and just turn him into a dark. But there's also another important card. Um, Zombie World is the field spell that you're going to be running in this deck. Unless they have another card that counts as Zombie World, sometimes we do get cards that do count as other cards. But anyways, Zombie World is a field spell card that says all monsters on the field and in the graveyards become zombie monsters. Neither player contributes to monsters except for zombie monsters. So therefore, you're going to be able to utilize that effect real easy because whenever a zombie monster's effect is activated, that includes your opponents, which will everything become zombies, okay? Um, so at that point, whenever your opponent does anything, you can either negate uh, that effect or banish one monster from the field or the graveyard. So that's actually really good. And then again, remember, every standby phase, he's coming back. It's, it just says the standby phase. It does not say your standby phase. So that is actually going to be pretty insane. And at this point, we snatched the monsters. Remember, Zombie Master is going to be able to uh, target any level 4 or lower zombie monster in either player's graveyard. So you basically snatch stole the other guy's monsters. Pretty good stuff. Um, there are other cards in this archetype, and I will go over it. Um, the, like I said, the, the new Synchro that's on the cover, we don't know the effect of that yet. Which, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be easy to summon, but I mean, at the moment, the deck already looks viable. So here's another one of the newer cards. This is Otherworldly Banshee. There's another spell card too, but... Uh, we'll get into that in a second. Anyways, Otherworldly Banshee is a effect monster that says neither player can target Zombie World in a field zone with card effects also cannot be destroyed by card effects. Quick effect. You can banish this card from your field or graveyard to activate one Zombie World from your hand or deck. You can only use the effect of Otherworldly Banshee once per So basically, they want you to have Zombie World. It's going to make it a little bit difficult for a lot of decks to compete. I really like this duel against Herald. Specifically because I don't like how Herald says you can't play, but this deck is like, no, no, you can't play Herald. Uh, but pretty much, it's kind of the same thing over and over. Uh, as of right now, the other card just gets out the other card. There is another uh, spell card which uh, we will g go over real quick. So this is Zombie uh, Necronize. So if a level 5 or higher zombie monster is on the field, you get to target one monster opponent controls, take control of it until the end phase. So basically, Snatch Steal. And then if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle one of your banished zombie monsters into the deck. And if you do, set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use uh, one of them per uh, Zombie Necronize. 
uh, once per turn and only once that turn. So basically it's a snatch steal that you get to reset, which, I mean, we don't need to even talk about how good it is to steal your opponent's monster. And obviously to get a level 5 or higher zombie, well, that's pretty easy because it just comes by back during the sandbox. As long as there's a field spell. It doesn't even have to be, um, uh, where do I go? Move back to its uh, effect. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be your field spell. It doesn't have to be Zombie World specifically, but I want to say that that's kind of what the deck wants to do. And Zombies is a very decent deck. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of cards like, for example, Book of Life, where you have Monster Reborn at that point, which, yeah, it's a pretty good card, right? But uh, anyways, he's going to go ahead and attack his opponent there for game and uh, just completely destroy the Herald play. Good job. Um, this one's kind of a blowout. It's like a two second duel over here. Um, but I figure I'd just go ahead and show you that like, I mean, you can have multiple negates and there's a lot of times where certain decks just lose out. And that's kind of what I want to mention here. There's a lot of decks where it's like you banish one, you know, a certain type of a monster. For example, like the ultimate conductor Tyranno, you have to banish two dinosaurs from the graveyard. Well, too bad because everything becomes zombie. So got him uh, getting rid of the fossil league. he's gonna activate that effect he's gonna try to activate it but that's gonna go ahead and say no he doesn't really have a follow-up play and at this point well stand by phase this card's coming back this card's coming back not looking too good right so again well this card's already out on the board but let's just say like for however reason he got rid of it he was just like dude i want to play against you and that is kind of how zombie world can work it can work it well against monarchs because keep in mind not only does it change everything to zombies but neither play contributes someone monster except for zombies not that that many people do that. In fact, we're gonna get no kaijus, right? So that's pretty good for. Actually, is it? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's tribute special. Anyways, yeah, there are cards that tribute your opponent's cards, but um, oh, there's another card I wanted to mention here. Um, it was shown off during the gameplay, but I was kind of busy talking. So uh, sure, nice swallow uh, style swallow uh, slash. So it's a trap card that says tribute one zombie monster, then target two cards on the field and destroy them. Just one zombie monster. Pop 2? Easy, easy. Especially since a lot of the plays, guys, as you guys saw. In fact, I wouldn't even think Armageddon Knight is a bad tech because at the end of the day, it's kind of the same thing, right? So uh, you could just, you know, zombie, get rid of that because it kind of just sits there, but it's a pretty self explanatory card. Nothing too big as far as the extra deck, but anyways. I'm going to go ahead and mouse over the uh, the cards and uh, briefly talk about them. So, first off, uh, there are, are a little bit of text here uh, in this. There's actually a vampire card. So, anyways, the um, Spirit King over here. Uh, really good effect, banish or uh, be able to negate anything. And again, that's during either player's turn, that's because it's a quick effect. Uh, then we have Vampire Fallen. It was used during the gameplay. Uh, I was probably too busy commentating over the other stuff, but um, it helps out because whenever a monster clears an attack, you can special summon it. In defense position, you can only use this effect event once per turn. Uh, it also is technically a level 5 zombie, so it can help you potentially go into link plays. Um, also, it can kind of prevent you from perhaps getting OTK'd. And then, anyways, once per turn, if your zombie monster battles an opponent, monster uh, as a quick effect you can pay life points at multiples of 100 up to 3000 your battling monster gains that much attack and defense so basically it's kind of stall that I, I would say that's mostly the utility here plus it goes into a link monster which actually was used during the plays a lot of times we did go into vampire soccer so this card makes so if you attribute monsters for a tribute summon you can tribute uh, zombie monsters your opponent control pretty cool yeah even though you do not control them well i mean you're going to take control of them anyway might be kind of a win harder aspect to go for this card sometimes but why not so uh otherworldly banshee just uh pretty much you just use it to get zombie world i mean it does have another effect where they can't target it but um i mean that's the effect of that then you got triple zombie master not sure if that's necessary to be honest um then we have Triple Kozuki, so you can just send a zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. Obviously, you send this. Um, I mean, it is an Earth. Um, I was even thinking about, because Armageddon Knight was dark, maybe you can throw in a lure of darkness in this deck, just to make it a little bit more consistent. You guys can let me know how you feel about that. Oh, by the way, shout out to you, Magus, for sending this in. I mean, you built this deck so fast, I didn't even know we had a new uh, uh, a new structure, sorry, well, I think it's a structure deck, uh, coming out into the game, but uh, we don't know all the cards yet. This is kind of just like a brief preview of what it does, and it seems to be pretty decent. Um, anyways, next up, uh, three Mizuki, banish it. You guys saw it, just banish it to summon your monsters. Uh, then we have the Shurnite Solitaire. So this one lets you uh, tribute a zombie monster, then special summon a zombie uh, tuner. Oh, wow, zero defense. In fact, a lot of the zombies actually have zero defense, but anyways, that's pretty much what it's used for. Um, and then the other effect, uh, no, you're not really going to use it too often. But anyways, uh, next up, Triple Unizombie. This is the one where it's basically just like foolish at the end of the day. Then we have Regeki, Triple Terraforming, One Reborn, Two Copies of Snatch Steel, uh, Three Copies of Zombie World, Three Copies of Sure Nice Swallow Slash, Three Copies of uh, Strike. The next up, we got Crystal, we got Shogun Saga, we got Cypher Omega, uh, Omega at Three, we got Samurai Saga, Double Vampire Sucker, One Boar Load, one Boral Sword, one Deco Talker, one Apprentice Witchling, one Tremere Unicorn, and one Tremere Phoenix. But anyways, 
That is the new zombie uh, structure boss monster. But again, there's still one more boss monster. I don't know how hard it is. So maybe it's really easy. But sometimes they give you a card in your truck track and you just don't make it. <laughs> Rose thinker I'm talking about. You're right. Most people just went for other things. But uh, nonetheless, it's still a good card in just almost anything. Like I said, it just comes back every single turn. Almost reminds me of, uh, what is it, the, uh, that Phoenix card that we had. Um, Oh gosh, it was another like structure deck where it came back and I blow up the field. But except for this, this lets you negate something, and then on top of that, it's a quick effect, you know, during the player's turn. Good stuff. But anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to always be updated on the latest new Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And let me know what you guys think of it down below. But if you guys got any cool replays, just like Magus over here, send it to Asianized Replays at gmail.com and maybe it'll be featured. And I'll give you a shout out. But thanks, Magus. Once again, shout out to you, man. But thanks for watching. And I'm signing out.